Hey guys, Crypto Dad here, and today I'm going to show you how to sell your Ethereum that is in your Ledger Nano S. So let's get going. Okay, so I'm here on vacation in uh, South Lake Tahoe. I don't have my green screen with me today, but I thought I would be important to do this video because Ethereum is at an all-time high, and I personally was trying to move some Ethereum and had some issues. And so I thought it might be uh, good to bring out this video to help anybody out there that may be having similar issues. So let me take you over to the screen here. So the problem is, that uh, we may have uh, some Ethereum on our Ledger Nano S. So let me show you how that normally works. Hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so first we're going to connect the uh, Ledger Nano S. Let's take this back here. All right. So uh, when we connect our Ledger Nano S, the first thing it wants is our PIN code. Okay, so we enter. Okay, so once we have our Ledger Nano unlocked. Okay, guys, the, the sun is tr kind of messing with me today. But once we get the Nano unlocked, we need to go over here to Ethereum. All right, and we need to enter it into our uh, app. The ledger. This may take a few moments. Okay, so as you can see, uh, I've uh, been doing some uh, ETH transfers today. Now, this first transfer that I attempted, uh, I attempted directly out of this wallet. Basically, I went over here to my Bittrex account, uh, to my Ethereum wallet, and I chose deposit and copied this address. Uh, okay. And uh, so then I just went to uh, send, you know, I pasted that address in. Oh, that is, that is. So I pasted in the address and uh, attempted to send. And uh, basically what happened was, I'm going to click on this transaction. I ended up getting a fail. Okay. The transaction failed. Uh, it said I was out of gas. Uh, I tried again. And uh, I, after I tried the second time, I tried to adjust the gas. Uh, here, when you go to advanced mode, you can adjust the gas. All right, so we're just going to go with the boy. Okay, boy's going to be in the background, so I hope you don't mind. All right, so I had a failed transaction from the Ledger Nano wallet. Okay, and then uh, I went back and... Uh, and then uh, I tried my little workaround, which occurred here, and I sent one ETH. And you'll notice that this one was successful. And I'll show you over here in the Bittrex that so uh, the transaction was successful, and the uh, one ETH was successfully moved into my Bittrex account. So how do you do that? So if you're trying to do this transaction and you keep having this error message, there is a workaround. So I'm going to show you what it is right here. What you need to do is go to my Ether Wallet. Whoops. MyEtherWallet.com. Let's get this Ledger Nano X. Now, a lot of people uh, say bad things about this site, that it's not secure. Uh, I think most people are having trouble with uh, imposter sites. There, people are, are clicking links that are supposedly taking them to this website, and then uh, they're getting scammed uh, because uh, a lot of people are impersonating this site. So you want to make sure that if you're uh, here, up here in the corner in the green, it says My Ether Wallet LLC US, and then the web address is HTTPS uh, www.myetherwallet.com, and then you know you're on the right site. And then I'm also going to uh, show you that uh, when you're using a Ledger Nano S, uh, even on this site, it's impossible for someone to take your tokens, which is one of the beauties of uh, the, the beauty of the Ledger Nano S. 
So what we want to do here is go to send Ether and tokens, and we're going to choose Ledger Wallet. Okay, and then the instructions here uh, are to go into the Ethereum application on the Ledger Nano. But there's one little caveat that I would like to point out for everyone. We're home now. Yes, buddy. What's up? Okay. Okay. Barbecue. Okay, so here's our little caveat. So, uh, I'm hoping you can see this okay. We want to go into the Ethereum app, and then we need to uh, navigate down here to Settings. And when we go to Settings, we need to uh, navigate down to Browser Support, click with both fingers, and then we uh, navigate to Yes, press with both fingers, and now we've enabled Browser Support on the Ledger Nano S. And that's really the trick to getting this thing to work. Now we're still, we're back at this window and we've uh, opened the Ethereum app. We've enabled browser support and then we just click connect to Ledger Wallet. Okay, it's going to bring up uh, some other things here about uh, HD derivation path. I just chose the, uh, uh, actually uh, there's different types of devices and cryptocurrencies. You want the Ledger, yeah, ETH. And it's already selected, so it's the default anyway. So we just click Unlock Wallet, and let's send away. So what we want to do is we're going to send some uh, ETH to my uh, Ethereum wallet on Bittrex, the way these work. Uh, if you don't see ETH, you just type in ETH in the search bar to get ETH at the top if you have an empty ETH wallet. You're going to hit plus, and then you're going to copy this address right here. Copy the address. And let's go back over here to my Ether wallet. And we're going to just paste that address right in there. And the amount to send, I'm going to, I'm going to send 0 0.005 ETH. Okay. And then we click generate transaction. Ah, and then it wants me to... Uh, This is the security setting here. It wants me to confirm the transaction, okay? So once we confirm the transaction, now that we've confirmed it, we can send it. And we're going to confirm. And there we go. Now we can verify the transaction here. And we can see that it's pending. Now they're very busy today and it might take quite a while um, but it will get there eventually. And I'd like to point out, I, 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 uh, oops. I kind of skipped over that quickly during the transaction, but the fact that I had to confirm the transaction with this button, that is the built-in security of the Ledger Nano S. So even when I've got this thing connected, no one is going to be able to steal ETH out of my Ledger Nano S because any movement of currency, any outgoing transaction has to be manually confirmed on the device. So a hacker from China cannot uh, put their finger on my Ledger Nano S. So that is the beauty and the security of the Ledger Nano S. So. Okay, so now that we've managed to send out that transaction, uh, we'll look here. This is the address of the uh, Bittrex. And all I have to do is patiently wait for it to show up. It's gonna, the, probably the best way to watch it is from here. And I would not recommend just sitting here in front of your computer. 
it, it's going to drive you nuts. But I would also like to, <laughs> I'd also like to point out at this point that, uh, let's see. I'd like to point out at this point, I'd like to point out that any device that you're using to access your Ethereum, be it your uh, Chrome-based wallet uh, for the Ledger Nano S or uh, my Ether wallet or the browser or uh, the Bittrex site, none of these interfaces need to be running to receive the ETH. They need to be, you know, you need to pull everything up in order to, to initiate the transaction. But once the transaction has gone out, once your transaction is pending here, I can turn off my computer. I can turn off, I can unplug this Ledger Nano S. I can close the browser window. Nothing is going to stop this transaction. I don't need to have any devices on or open to receive this ETH. The Bittrex website, uh, I don't need to be on their website refreshing the browser every two seconds trying to figure out whether I'm getting my deposit or not. Uh, you might want to just leave this page open and then you can have some coffee and maybe come back later just to see its uh, status. That's fine too. But if you close this window and your computer shuts down, uh, it's not going to affect the transaction. At this point, the transaction is already out on the Ethereum blockchain, so we're good to go. So patience is a virtue, my friends. Uh, there are some strange and uh, not very likely scenarios where it might not confirm. And then uh, there are some tools that we can use to try to uh, resend. But generally what happens when they fail is that uh, you get your uh, tokens back minus the gas that you use to send, which is pretty uh, uh, small. Okay. So, uh, as you can see, this is a very small transaction. Uh, I already sent one ETH earlier, so that was what I wanted to do uh, myself, but I thought it was important that I do a video to show everyone else how I did it in case you're going crazy trying to send ETH out of your Ledger Nano S. So let's go back over here. So I hope this was a helpful video, guys. I'm sorry about the poor quality, uh, me being on vacation and uh, you know, cut myself shaving the other day. I'm not in tip-top form uh, appearance-wise, but uh, I wanted to get this video out so that those of you uh, who were frustrated that really wanted to sell some of their ETH and maybe buy some other new cryptocurrency or just cash out, whatever uh, they wanted to do, would be able to do it. Now, as far as I know, Coinbase has also suspended uh, ETH transactions as well. So if you want to sell some ETH, you should do it on Poloniex, uh, Bittrex, uh, Binance, wherever uh, those cryptocurrency sites uh, that trade ETH are, uh, you should be able to uh, do that. And the process is very similar. You just go to your wallet, click the plus or deposit or whatever their interface is, and it's going to give you an address. And then follow my instructions from this video. So once again, if you like the video, give me a like. Um, if you subscribe to my channel, I would love it. And uh, there's a little bell there so that you can uh, be, be notified whenever I post a new video. Once again, thanks for joining me.